Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy, and today I'm going to be talking about the Auburn Tigers 2020 football schedule. The Tigers last year overall went 10 or 9 and 4 with three losses in the regular season and one loss in bowl season. Uh, those losses came to Florida, LSU, Georgia, and surprisingly Minnesota. Overall, though, the Tigers had one of the harsh schedules in all of college football. They did get some big wins like Oregon, Texas A&M, and Alabama. So they had they had the ups and they had the downs uh, this past season. To be fair, they had a freshman QB, a true freshman QB in Bo Nix. I think he'll be a little bit better for this upcoming season, definitely. But they are also losing some experienced guys, like, uh, you know, they're losing Derek Brown at the defensive tackle position, and they're losing Jatarvius Whitlow at the running back position. So they have a couple of losses. They do have a top 10 recruiting class, which helps. Uh, so overall, you know, they should be pretty good, just as good as they were last year. I expect sim a similar record as they were last year. I will say, you know, besides from, besides from dropping Oregon, their schedule, their schedule does not get much easier. I feel like the SEC, SEC West ha is just as hard as it was last year, and they have a tough out-of-conference game as well. So it's a very hard schedule in my opinion, and I think, you know, there's definitely going to be some places where they might slip up in. But I'm, I'm going to break down every game, and I'm going to give an overall schedule prediction at the end of the video. We'll start out with one Alcorn State. They're a pretty good FCS school, but it'll be no problem for Auburn. They win this one. Two, this isn't an easy game. North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia. I think North Carolina is going to be a ranked team next year. I think it's going to be a close matchup. I really think North Carolina is going to give Auburn a lot of trouble. I think it'll be close. Uh, you know, coaching-wise, North Carolina does, definitely has a big advantage. Mac Brown is a much better coach than Gus Malzahn. Uh, so I think that might help the UNC. You know, Sam Howell is a pretty good quarterback. He could be a sleeper to be a Heisman contender. So I think North Carolina will give a lot of trouble to Auburn. That being said, Auburn has a top 10 recruiting class and a little bit better talent. So I'm taking I'm taking the Tigers here to win, but I think it's going to be a very close game. I think people are underestimating this game. And I think UNC is going to give them, give them a big run for their money. Three at Ole Miss. Should be interesting. Lane Kiffin is there now. Obviously, Lane Kiffin former, formerly was a coordinator for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So he's facing off against Auburn again here at Ole Miss. You know, it's an away game for Auburn. This could be some trouble. You know, Ole Miss, I don't think is a, is that is going to be that good of a team. But Lane Kiffin is a pretty good coach, and he could definitely give Auburn some trouble. I'm taking the Tigers here, but I think it could be close. I mean, you look at them last year, Ole Miss, they nearly beat Auburn. They only lost by like a few points, and they, they made a drive at the end. It just came up short. Uh, this upcoming season at home with a better coach... It could it could be close. It really could be. Uh, but yeah, I, I have Auburn winning. But again, they could Lane Kiffin could give him a challenge. Four Southern Miss shouldn't be a problem there. Easy Conference USA uh, team. They'll win that game. Five Kentucky should be a very interesting matchup because Joey Gatewood, the former Auburn quarterback, went through the transfer portal to Kentucky. It's a home game for Auburn. I think Kentucky could put up a fight. They have a pretty good recruiting class as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would take Auburn to win here. They're still a better team. I think the defense will shut Kentucky down. Six at Georgia. Tough one here. So, you know, coming to this game, they'll be 5-0. and It's an early game to have the Deep South's biggest rivalry. Usually it's in late October, but it's early this year. Uh, you know, it's in Sam Samford Stadium. It's going to be a tough place to play. You know, it's going to be a tough one, in my opinion, for the Tigers. I think they put up a good fight against the Bulldogs like they did last year, but it's on the road. I'm taking the Bulldogs here to win. Bulldogs have the best recruiting class for 2020. Uh, you know, that's going to help. And they should have a pretty good defense once again. So I think they're going to be a very talented football team. 7 Texas a and This could be another big challenge. I think the Aggies are just going to be as good as they were last year, if not better. Definitely better record-wise, at least. So this will be a big game. I understand Auburn won against Texas a and last year uh, at Kyle Field. And that's a tough place to play. And they did pretty convincing convincingly so that was a big win for them but i think it will be close at this time i think you know texas a and is definitely going to be in it the whole way it should be interesting i am taking the tigers here but i definitely think it's going to be a close one you know and i won't be shocked if texas a and m pulls off the upset eight bye week good time to have the bye week right in the middle of the season 
at Mississippi State. Another tough game. This schedule is not easy. Mike Leach at Mississippi State. He's a great coach. Expect a pretty good pass attack, I imagine. Uh, you know, I think Mississippi State could give them some trouble. It's a home game for Mississippi State. So we'll see. It might be interesting, this game. I'm taking the Tigers because they just are the better team on paper, definitely. But they could get some trouble here. Arkansas, that's an easy win. UMass, another easy win right there. Uh, so basically two bye weeks right before you have to play at LSU. That's good. You know, this one's going to be a pretty good one. I think game day actually goes here. This would be a good location for game day to go. So it's going to be, in my opinion, a pretty big game. I think LSU has one or two losses, probably two losses coming into this game. Auburn probably won, maybe two losses coming into this game. So it's going to be a pretty hyped up game. Auburn still probably at this point will be in the race for the SEC West. But, you know, LSU still ha would still have a lot on the line. Just like making a big bowl game, you know, fighting just to get into the top 10. So LSU would still have a lot, lot on the line too. And personally, I give the advantage to LSU. LSU. I think talent-wise, they're slightly better. I understand they lost plenty of production. You don't have to tell me that. I understand that. They lost plenty of production, but they have a much better recruiting class, in my opinion. It's top five one. I think that's going to help. They have a pretty good quarterback, I think, in Miles Brennan. And Jamar Chase is still there. I understand they're losing a lot of guys. But still, overall... I think they have some talent, and I think that's better than what Auburn has. You know, Auburn Auburn has plenty of talent as well, but I just I will give the advantage to LSU talent wise and coaching wise. Ed Orgeron's the better coach. I'm taking LSU to go uh, into Jordan Hare and win this one. Last time LSU went to Jordan Hare uh, in 2018, I think it I think they won on a game winning field goal. Uh, so it was a close game, and this time I imagine it'll be closer. It will be close again. It was close last year as well, but I'm taking LSU to win a close one. 13 Alabama. All right, tough game. This is going to be a tough, tough game. Auburn's coming into this game 9-2 and two I have them at with those two losses at Georgia and LSU. This is going to be a tough one. It's at Alabama. Gus Miles and some pretty good against Nick Saban. I'll admit it. 3-4 and four against Nick Saban. I think that's what it is. is. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. you got to go to him. He's done pretty good against Nick Saban. But at the end of the day, you know, I still think Alabama, just looking at them, they're going to be a very good football team next year. They have arguably a top three recruiting class, at least top five. It's at Bryant Denny, a tough place to play. Alabama hasn't lost two straight against Auburn in quite a while. Uh, they're a very good football team, and I imagine Nick Saban, will, Nick Saban will be wanting to get revenge, obviously. Big rivalry in the Iron Bowl. You know, it could be close to the start. I imagine, though, Alabama pulls away at the end, and I think uh, the Crimson Tide win it. So overall... I have the Auburn Tigers at 9-3. I have them at 9-3 as of right now. I just feel like Georgia, LSU, and Alabama, those are three games they're going to be expected to lose in. You know, just talent-wise, I think they're slightly worse than those teams. Um, and also coaching-wise, they're probably a little bit worse than those teams. And they get a couple, of the, two of those games on the road. So a tough schedule overall. I don't understand. Auburn has some of the toughest schedules, you know, just lately in college football. I mean, they played Clemson the last a couple years ago. They played Clemson. Uh, you know, obviously they have to play Alabama every year. They have to play Georgia every year. They have to play LSU every year. They have a tough schedule every single year. I ne I haven't seen them getting, getting an easy schedule in quite a while. Uh, so it's a tough schedule. You know, I feel bad for Tigers fans. They, they have to play really hard schedule. Uh, but it is what it is. I have them at 9-3. You know, if they're in the ACC or another easy conference, I would say probably 10 and 2 or or 11 and 1, probably 11 and 1 to be honest. Uh, but this is the SEC and they're just playing so many tough opponents, even North Carolina, that's top 25 squad probably. So they're going to have a lot of competition. It's always a hard schedule for Auburn, unfortunately for them. Uh, so I have them at 9-3 right now. Uh, but please make sure to leave your comments below and like and subscribe as well and give me any of your feedback. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in.